So, it's been two days since CyanogenMod 7.1 was released. Now, as we know, if you've been looking at the news, the Xperia X10 devices are not included in the list of Sony Ericsson devices that have been added on the blog entry. And the devices page hasn't been updated as there's no Sony Ericsson category. It's been two days, but we have seen a little bit of movement as just today, if we scroll down on the forum, we'll find under Sony Ericsson, which is right down the bottom of the list, we've got the devices in the list, but not the X8. But as a bit of a surprise, the X10 Mini and the X10 Mini Pro. So, Here we have the X10 Mini Pro Forum, because I have an X10 Mini, I'm going to have a go and see what, how far we can get into this. So, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here is the information on Cyan Gen Mod 7 for the X10 Mini Pro. It's very generic, so it looks like they've taken the same, same boilerplate text and applied it for for each device and just done some bits and changes and there's this section here which says root the device install clockwork mod recovery instructions are available here now what you'll find if you click that link is it takes you to the wiki but the page hasn't been created yet so as we've got custom ROMs on our devices I'm going to have a go at applying this update now I've done the backup um, and I'm just going to take you over to my little X10 Mini Pro and here we are, so let's wipe data. Okay, let's wipe all that data, off it goes. Right, so I've copied over the, the zip files to my phone. I'm just going to start off with applying the main Cyanogen mod. There we are. As you can see, it's pretty. It's not very clear actually. Not the best phone I'm using. It's my old G1. But anyway, I'm going to apply this update, and off it goes. And we have an error. So we can see I've downloaded the Mini Pro file, but it gets a status seven abort.